Okay, uh, I want to congratulate uh, Vijay sir and Mahabatra sir for their wonderful deliberations and very detailed deliberation and um, Mahabatra sir uh, enumerating the various pathogenic uh, steps for ulcerative colitis and Vijay sir elaborating how this new molecule can help us uh, in treating refractory cases. So uh, since the molecule is new in the market, our experience has been limited to few patients only and i would like to describe one such patient who came to our setup a 29 year old woman without any significant past medical history was admitted to the emergency with seven week history of mild colicky pain abdomen bloody stool six to eight times per day and in the last four weeks, she gradually developed rectal tenesmus and lost two kgs. On examination, she had fever around 101 degree uh, cent uh, centigrade of Fahrenheit. Uh, pulse rate was 104 per minute, but abdominal examination was normal. Investigation really revealed anemia with hemoglobin of 8.6. CRP was 67 milligram per deciliter. Fecal calprotectin was high in the range of 1975 microgram per gram. And stool cultures, cytomegalovirus, clostridium detoxin test were negative. So endoscopic assessment showed confluent deep ulcers up to mid transverse colon with complete loss of vascular pattern. Uh, the endoscopic uh, severity index was around. 6 by 8, barren classification was 2, and since the disease was beyond the splenic flexure, it, we described it as E3 disease. The histological analysis revealed crypt distortion with cryptitis and crypt abscess with lymphocytic and neutrophilic infiltration. So it was defined ulcerative colitis with severe activity. So the patient was uh, diagnosed as severe ulcerative colitis and was started on intravenous steroids, that is hydrocortisone, 100 milligram IV6 hourly, along with other supportive measures. But by the fifth day of hospitalization, the patient, though aparetic and painless, maintained six to seven blood stools, and her ESR and CRP was high, and heart rate was high. So according to the True Loves and Wits Index, she still fitted the severe criteria. So... So therefore, in case of non-refractory to uh, refractory to steroid, we started the patient on infleximab. Infleximab, five milligram per kg per day was induction uh, induction dose were given with infusion on zero, two, and six weeks. After patient fifteen days, the patient was free of rectal tenesmus and achieved a partial Mayo score of two. Uh, by 9, uh, C-reactive protein was decreased to 4.7 mg per liter and fecal calprotectin was also decreased from an index episode of 1900 to now 412. So we, so we kept the patient on infleximab. She was kept on 5 mg per kg IV infusions. But 8 months after starting infleximab, the patient again had a relapse of symptoms. She began to Ha, uh, have a uh, flare up of bowel symptoms in the form of bloody diarrhea. So we did an I, infleximab levels. The trough levels were around 3.1, which were low. So it was decided that infleximab dose should be uh, maximized and we maximized to uh, 10 milligram per kg per day schedule for the six to eight weeks. But again, uh, uh, four months later, the infleximab levels came out to be around 8.9, which was around satisfactory level of trough, and the patient was in clinical and endoscopic remission. Six months after this episode, uh, the patient was asked to follow up routinely, but she asked for an earlier medical appointment, reported abdominal cramping, had five to six blood streak uh, episodes with loose stools, and the blood analysis revealed again a CRP of 17. Fecal can protein was raised, which was below uh, 100. It has again raised to 1328. And this time the infleximab levels were not low. And we also did the antibody for infleximab, which was not high. So the trough levels were adequate and antibody level was not high. So we 
we decided to go ahead with an endoscopy, which again showed uh, continuous colonic inflammation with marked erythema, absent vascular pattern, flyability, erosions, ulcerations, corresponding to UCEIS of 6 by 8. So in this context, it was decided to stop infleximab and the start the patient on tofacitinib, uh, 10 milligram twice daily. Since as Sir uh, Dr. Vijay elaborated and um, Dr. Mahapatra also that this molecule has a very rapid onset of action. It, it is, uh, trials have shown that it can act as fast as uh, three days of the initiation of treatment. So this patient also showed good response. Six days after the treatment, the patient was free from pain and had only three bowel movements, but it was without blood. The fecal calprotectin decreased to 195 microgram per gram of stool. Yes. So the induction with tofacinitini went uneventful. There was slight and transitory changes in the lipid profile. Uh, the total cholesterol and triglyceride in the range of 219 and 183, four weeks of the treatment start and no other relevant analytical changes were observed. After eight weeks, the patient was in clinical endoscopic and histological uh, remission. The, for the past four months, the patient has been receiving tofacitinib 5 mg twice daily for maintenance and remains free of symptoms and uh, endoscopic activity. Thank you.